y'all welcome to my channel or welcome back if you are new here thank you so much for joining us if you are returning you already know it you are fabulous all right so for today's video this is episode 71 of our 365 day daily devotionals this is the daily devotional by sarah young it's called jesus calling and y'all it is one of a kind truly one of a kind actually um sarah young has several different books out um that i would actually like to acquire myself and you know look at because this devotional right here man god just uses this i'm telling you it is it, it will reach out and grab you anyways if you have missed any of the previous episodes i do have a playlist in the description box and i guess that's it so let's jump in Okay, number 71. So, I'm going to talk a little louder, and we're just going to try to get through this. There's a storm blowing up, as you can see here. I think I've got probably about 30 or 45 minutes before the storm actually gets here. But So, we've got plenty of time to get through this, but I didn't want to just rush through it because of the weather, because it's still beautiful out here. I mean, look at it it's still absolutely gorgeous it is something that god gives us to be grateful for and i am and i've had a really hard time being grateful here lately so this little spot is just a blessing to me and we're just gonna do whatever the lord wants us to do today if we need to rush through it we'll do it if we don't then we're gonna we're gonna take our time and just do whatever the lord would have us do today all right, let's get started. Number 71. So first, let me give you all the verses. I like to give you the verses. Just that way you can go back and see how the Lord's using these throughout your day. Or, you know, just, just go back and maybe read the chapter that goes with that verse. Kind of get it, you know, in a little better context. But... I just like for y'all to have those. <clears throat> Ooh, it's a good one. I can tell already. Walk by faith, not by sight. As you take steps of faith, depending on me, I will show you how much I can do for you. If you live your life too safely, you will never know the thrill of seeing me work through you. When I give my spirit, when I give you my spirit, I empower you to live beyond your natural ability and strength. Let me say that one more time. When I give you my spirit, I empower you to live beyond your your natural ability and strength. It has nothing to do with you. Nothing to do with you. It has everything to do with God. Hmm, let's keep going. That's why it is so wrong to measure your energy level against the challenges ahead of you. The issue is not your strength, but mine, which is limitless. By walking close to me, you can accomplish my purpose in my strength. Man. Man, that's a good one. You know, that's so much easier said. E easier? Is that a word? I don't know. That's so much easier to say than to do, to walk by faith, not by sight. But if you ever just step out on that faith, if you ever just try it and see and, and watch God work in your life, it's like it accumulates each little thing more and more until it's just second nature. You just automatically trust God. second nature for me to trust God. I'm so grateful to have had parents that instilled 
that in me as a child, you know. Because I can't, I can't remember a time when I don't feel like God was right there with me. Even when I wasn't, when I was at my worst, my lowest, God was right there. I know it's easier said than done, but if you will ever just give God a chance, wholeheartedly, not, well, I'm, I'll give him a little and I'll see what he's going to do, and then I, you know, I might release that control, release that anxiety, those worries that, that um, keeps you up all night because you don't know what to do about it. Release Give that to God and see what he can do. He will show you his power. He will show you his love. You will feel his peace. All right, let's do the verses. <clears throat> For we walk by faith, not by sight. 2 Corinthians 5, 7. Since we live in the Spirit, let us keep in step with the Spirit. Galatians 5, 25. This is, this is a beautiful verse right here. <clears throat> but I will sing of your strength in the morning. I will sing of your love. For you are my fortress, my refuge in times of trouble. O oh, my strength, I sing praise to you. You, O oh God, are my fortress, my loving God. Psalms 59, 16, and 17. If you have never known God's love and that that peace that that passes all understanding If you could just give it to God, if you could just tell God you're scared. I'm scared. I don't I I I'm scared. I you know, stepping out on faith is it's scary. But it's so worth it. You know, nowadays there's like this um, <clears throat> need for um, gratification instantly. That's because of social media and electronics and, you know, whatever. That's just the world that we live in. But some things take time. Our choices sometimes bring on our trials and our troubles. And then the fact that we live in a fallen world. The devil is everywhere.
blessings that will come to you. Let God hold you. Let God strengthen you. up it definitely does help my channel don't forget to share it with your friends and family and subscribe that would be awesome plus hit that notification bell so that you will know each time i upload a new video thank you so so much for being with me today and y'all have a blessed day